Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today I'm going to be using the Merlin Bird ID app and showing you guys how to use it. It's really cool, it has a couple different features that I'm excited to show you. And uh, I'm here in Thibodeau, Louisiana. We're just going to walk around this tract of land and see what we can find and use the app to help us on our way. So the first thing is to download the Merlin Bird ID app on your phone. Uh, it is free, so everything on here, nothing's paid. And there's a couple different sections to it. We have start bird ID, so if you want to just go through different features of a bird, it can help you identify a species. There's photo ID, where we give it a picture of a bird and it can try to identify it. Sound ID, and then explore birds. And one thing about Merlin is you have to download these different packs. And so these are fairly large files that have the birds of a specific area. So when I went to Costa Rica, there was like a birds of Costa Rica pack or like a Central American birds pack I had to download. So before you use it, make sure you download the appropriate packs. And we're gonna test out each feature. So we're gonna start off with the start bird ID. So there's a couple doves over here on this wire. So if you just were out and about and you notice some doves, uh, we're gonna go through the features and see if it can tell us what kind of birds these are. So we'll hit start bird ID. For location, I'm gonna hit current location. And then for date, I'm gonna reset to today. So the first is what size is the bird? So we're gonna go with about robin sized. Gonna hit next. What were the main colors? Buff brown. What was the bird doing? We'll say on a fence or a wire. Now it's creating a list of the possible birds. So we got red winged blackbird, even though we said it was buff brown as top. Eastern meadowlark and then morning dove, which is what it actually is. So you can hit this is my bird and you actually put it on an eBird checklist or um, save with Merlin. So that's kind of cool. And that's, uh, you know, it's going to be somewhat useful, might help you narrow it down, but it may not necessarily get you to what you're actually trying to find. So something important to keep in mind. It's kind of funny it like put Red Wing Blackbird on the front, even though that we said it was buff brown. But I guess for the female it would make sense. So that's one of the features of Merlin. Now we'll go back to the next feature. So we'll get out of this here. And we will do photo ID. So we can use the same morning dove actually. So we hit photo ID, click the button, and then out in the field I think one of the more convenient ways to use this is if you have a photo or a video of a bird you took on your camera. And of course Merlin's only going to be as good as what you use for your photo or video. So this is a fairly decent picture. We're going to crop it. So we have mostly just the bird in the frame here. For the place, we'll put our current location. And then the date is today, hit identify. And it came up with morning dove, so that's solid. Uh, morning dove is the top choice, and then white wing dove is the second choice. And then it has other options too. So remember that that's really only going to be as good as the photo you're giving it, but it can be useful if you're kind of trying to narrow things down when you're out in the field. The next feature is the sound ID feature. So we'll go to sound ID and if you have the location in and you have the packs downloaded, we should be able to just hit the microphone here and have it pick up what sounds are around. Now this has been the bane of some bird biologists existence because people use the sound ID feature and they submit an eBird checklist with everything and it's just these ridiculous rare reports and they say they use the sound feature. So take this with a grain of salt, what it's telling you in the sound ID feature um, so people don't get these crazy bird checklists out there. So we're gonna hit the button and we're just gonna see what it picks up. I kinda know it's around so we we'll, should be able to tell if it's accurate or not. picked up red winged blackbird, which is around. We have a lot of background noise right now. We're gonna, let's head down this way where it's a little more quiet and we'll see what else it picks up. I just heard, I heard a common yellow throat. It didn't pick it up. Maybe it was a little out of range. I see black bellied whistling ducks flying. So of course, if nothing's calling, you're not gonna pick it up with the app. Picked up crow, that's cool. That one was pretty loud, so it makes sense. All right, well, I think we're gonna stop it here for now. 
we'll go to an area with some more calls and we'll try to see what it picks up in that area. You can also isolate certain sounds too. So we'll stop it here. So it shows the two birds listed. And you can also highlight and isolate certain parts of it and it'll tell you if it has a match for that section too. There's our crow. Cool, we'll go to another location and test this out there. We're at the other location. Gonna pull up the bird ID app, hit the sound ID feature, see what we pick up. Picked up cardinal, nice. So when it picks up a new bird, it actually like flashes yellow and has a little blue dot. Picked up yellow-breasted chat, which is interesting. I did not hear a yellow-breasted chat. Ideally, it's probably better when you're stationary because we're making a lot of noise walking. Carolina rennet picked up. Kill deer, I hear. Oh, it picked it up. I thought it was going to be too faint, but it actually got it. Let's go down a little further. This is kind of fun. I've never actually sat out with this and used it, but it's kind of cool when a new bird pops up. It's exciting. Heard crow, but it didn't pick it up. Red-winged blackbird, nice. That crow is pretty prominent, but it's not getting it. Let's keep going. Definitely if stuff is quiet, it has issues picking it up, which makes sense. I don't know if you can hook like an external microphone up and use it. That'd be kind of cool if you could. Chimney Swift, it picked up. I do think I heard a chimney swift, so that checks out. Picked up chat again for a second. I just am not hearing that. Indigo bunting it just picked up. All right, I'm going to stop it for now. I would definitely say this is really cool and I would recommend everybody check it out. I would definitely take the things that they say are calling with a grain of salt and you should be, you know, double checking them and don't just think if it says something is calling that it actually is around. But really cool technology. I'm excited to see where this goes. It's really fun to see the little birds pop up. So there's one more feature for the Merlin Bird ID app under Explore Birds. So we can do location as current date as today and then hit done and it'll show us the little bar charts of when everything is here so if the bar is larger it's more likely to be here like in each individual one it's sorted by month so it has j for january february march april so you can see if the bar is bigger that um that's more likely that that bird's going to be here i'm hearing an eastern toe calling over there which wasn't calling when we had the app on but we can search and we can go to Eastern Tohi. And it says that it's actually considered rare right now, which is weird. Um, Cause they're definitely fairly common. And even it shows that they're fairly common. But um, yeah, you can take a look and see what's considered rare, what's considered not for your area. And then um, you can go down the list and just kind of explore the birds and, and see what may or may not be here. So if you're in a new area, and you have this updated, it's good to kind of look and see what's rare and what's not. But like with the Eastern Tohi, I wouldn't consider that rare. So take that with a grain of salt as well. I'm gonna throw the call ID on and just see if it'll pick up that Tohi. That ah, did, and it still says it's rare on here. One more thing I wanted to mention about the Merlin app is when you go to explore birds, Say if we hit black-bellied whistling duck here, we can go to the map and it'll show us a map of where they're found. 
as well as you can play the sound. So this is one of the calls. So it's kind of nice to have those calls on hand. And it gives you a wide variety of calls to pick from. So that's a few more tools that you have with Merlin, but make sure you have the right packs downloaded because if you don't, you're not going to be able to, to access that. So like Model Duck isn't in the pack I downloaded, so it's just telling me that I have to get these other packs. So make sure that if you're in an area without reception, you have all the packs you need downloaded so that you're not left high and dry when you need a call or something like that. That's kind of an introduction to Merlin. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it, but don't think that just because it says a bird is there or a bird is rare, it, may, it might not always be true. So definitely be doing your own homework, take lots of pictures, get audio recordings you can verify on your own. But definitely fun to play with, would highly recommend it, and uh, go out there, explore. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.